day today on the daily draw, which means it is draw with grandparents. So if we've got any grandparents joining us, then hello, welcome to the daily draw. Today we are drawing a gorgeous buttercup picture, but thank you to everyone who commented on yesterday's picture because the Aristocats are some of my favourite pictures that I've seen from you guys. So thank you so much. And let's get on with today's picture. <music> buttercup picture we are going to start with the middle circle of our buttercup and we don't want it too low down because we want to be able to fit in a bud and some leaves but we still want it to be high enough so that we can fit in the petals I nearly said leaves so I'm just gonna go with my circle around about there and I'm gonna start with the bottom petal just bring it down just like this And then the next petal, we're just going to bring out and join just like this. Now, when I did a practice of this picture, I actually felt like I did. I put in all my petals and then I went in and changed all of them slightly. So don't worry about how many times it takes to get it right. Sometimes it takes longer than others. So, just put in each of these petals. And I feel like that one doesn't really look right, so I'm gonna bring it, bring it in slightly, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring a line all the way down to the bottom of the page, which is gonna be our stalk. And I want it to have a little bit of a curve like it's blowing in the wind, just like that. And that is our first step. I'm gonna start by rubbing out this circle that we put in at the very beginning as one of our basic shapes. And I'm gonna do a circle shape, but I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be lines, it's just gonna be curves coming upwards. And as you can see, they're in that it's not really a circle, it's more of an oval shape, just like that. And then joining up the ones at the top in a curve, just like that. And then I'm going to bring a stalk at the very bottom of our buttercup. This is what our leaves are going to be attached to. And then a stalk here for the bud, just like that. And this is definitely a bud and not a bulb, as I got wrong on the first and on the junior picture. And we're going to join it up just like this at the top. And that is our second step. So if you pause it now and then you can draw this. Start with this third step with the stem of the leaf. And we're going to bring it behind this middle stem and behind this bud stem as well, just to about there. And I'm gonna bring a line up, up. This leaf is kind of sectioned into three parts. We've got one bit here, one bit here, and then one bit coming all the way out here. And I'm gonna bring a nice curve like this. Always have a look at the negative shapes on the guide sheet and that makes drawing this leaf a lot easier. And I'm gonna bring another one out like this and I'm going to start this third section actually by just coming from out from the stem and we've got a little line coming out there and that's the leaf and we're just going to put in another, another line there which I'm going to come in with my watercolour pencils and use that and then last part of the drawing is this final leaf, which again, like this one, is split up into three sections. So I'm going to curve a line around here, just like that. And then I'm going to do another line there. And that's where I want that first leaf to be. And mum and I were talking about this and mum likes to draw starting from top to bottom. So mum would start at the top of this leaf and then work down. 
Whereas I quite like not doing that <laughs> and um, starting and building the shape round and really looking at the guide sheet and seeing where each of these lines are supposed to go. So this one here is actually quite a straight line. And we're gonna curve that round to here to just go up and then back down. And join out to there. And remember it is a curved line there. And then again, one more line in the middle. And that is the end of our drawing. So if you stay with us, I'm gonna use watercolor pencils and show you what colors to use. And even if you don't have watercolor pencils, keep watching because I'll show you what colors I'm gonna put and where. So I'm gonna start with my orange watercolor pencils. And all I'm going to do is outline the mark, the petals and the marks that I've already got there. So no buttercups are yellow and we are going to do them in yellow, but we're just going to make sure they have a really clear outline in orange. And then I'm going to take my yellow, this is cadmium yellow, and I'm going to colour that in. So make sure I've got lots of pigment on. But if you see very closely, I'm not going right to the edge and making it very neat because as soon as we add the paintbrush to it, all these marks are going to go away. So start with this petal, turning to paint, just like this. And as you can see, it is still a very prominent yellow colour, but bits of the orange are going into these petals making it a little bit more interesting. So that's the last petal here. And I'm then gonna do the same on my little buds. So I'm gonna go, just outline the, my lines that I've done and put in the yellow. I've definitely got too much paint on there so I'm just gonna use my bit of kitchen roll or artist best friend to mop that up. Then I'm gonna take my two different greens that I've got and I'm gonna outline it. I'm actually gonna do two different colours just like that. I'm gonna do the leaf, I'm gonna outline this leaf in one colour and then colour it in with a different one. Don't forget to do that line that we put in in step three. So just a little bit more pigment like that. And then exactly the same with the leaf on the other side. Outline it in like one green. I'm going to colour it in in a different one. And don't forget to do bits of green on the stem here. So I'm going to use a bit of this green and a bit of this one. I'm trying not to touch the bud too much because it is still a little bit wet. And then I'm going to take my big brush and make sure it's not too wet and then colour it in. And when we are adding the water, we don't want to lose all those nice marks that we made at the start. So keep having a look at where your marks were so that you've still got those little curves and bumps coming out of the leaf. Just like that. And same here. So I'm just gonna color in the middle parts I'm going to go into the wee curves to make sure I still have them. And finally, the little bud. 
I'm going to try quite carefully to make sure that the paint between those two bits there don't run because it's not entirely dry. Then I'm going to come on to this middle part of the flower and I'm actually going to use orange and a lighter green, which is this green here. So I'm going to just take the orange and that is still that is dry now. I'm just going to put a few little bits of orange in the middle of each of the petals. So just like that. Then I'm going to go round. If you can see all those curves that we made, I'm just going round each of them like that. And I'm not going to colour them in, but I am going to put a bit of green in the middle and I'm going to put some green lines coming out on the petals just like that and then I'm going to turn these little green bits not green the orange bits to paint and then a tiny bit of paint on the green and that is our finished buttercup picture you enjoyed that remember to send us your pictures either on facebook or instagram or twitter we love seeing them and not just any children's pictures but we also love seeing any pictures that your family members have done so any grandparents or aunts or uncles we just love seeing all your pictures come back tomorrow on the daily draw where we'll be doing star wars pictures and they are so cute i love them and i'm sure you're gonna love them too